Welcome back to the Simply Aroma Consultant Training Program. Last time we talked about your follow-up system and getting on the phone. And this week we're going to be talking about managing your time and setting up your schedule. Before we move on to time management and scheduling, I'd like to talk a little bit about balance between life and business. I know that's something that all of my clients struggle with. I think it's an essential part of the conversation regarding scheduling. At my live events, I ask the question, how many of you started your direct sales business because of your children and your family? Because you wanted to be home with your kids and spend more quality time as a family? Most of the room raises their hands. Then I ask them, how many of you would say that sometimes, maybe even often, your business robs you of quality time with your kids and your family and you feel overwhelmed by the volume of keeping up with it. Honestly, generally, every single hand raises again. The point is, the very reason possibly that you started your Simply Aroma business can become a casualty if you don't get in harmony and figure out how to work smarter and with focus and purpose. We're not going to spend a whole bunch of time on time management today, but I do want to cover an exercise that I do with my coaching clients that will support you in setting up a schedule that works for you. If you haven't already, you'll want to download the time management worksheet from the Simply Aroma web website and have it handy. Let's start by talking about the philosophy of time management. If you think about your time the same way that you think about your money, then creating a schedule is really just like setting up a budget. When you set up a budget, you look at all of your expenses and how much money you need to pay your bills. And then you figure out how you'll do that each month. It seems simple. Well, time management is identical. The first step in setting up a schedule is figuring out how much time you need each month to run your business. As you look at this worksheet, I want you to ask yourself what do you do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis in service of your business? This is everything except parties. Those I kind of consider a given, and you're looking at one to three nights each week that you're taking out of your calendar for that. This exercise deals with everything else that you do to support your business. You'll notice that I've given you five categories. Administrative, support, customer support, downline support, party preparation, and host coaching. Step two is to figure out how much time each week each of those items that you've identified takes you to complete. It could be five minutes or it could be two hours. Figure on the high side if you're not sure. Once you have all those numbers filled in, subtotal each category and then do a grand total at the bottom. Now at this point, you're going to have an aha moment. Either you'll look at that number and it will look too large, as in, no wonder I feel like I'm working all the time, 40 hours a week is way more than I can give my business, in which case you're going to need to look at what you can delete, defer, or delegate to bring that number down. The other aha moments happen actually more often, and that's when you look at that number and you can't believe how small it is, as in, 12 hours a week, I feel like I'm working 40, where is that time going? If that's the case, you're going to need to look for the time drainers in your business. What's sucking those hours out of your day? And the first place to look is social media, then email, and your phone. If you get a handle on those three, it could totally change your entire business. Step three is where the rubber meets the road. And it's the easiest step if you've done a good job on the first two. You're going to create your schedule using a blank monthly calendar page. Now for most people, having a consistent way of working that's the same every single week is really the best way to stay on track. That means that you're deciding what you're going to do each week, each day of the week, and then staying consistent to that. If you're working this way, I'd recommend that you set your schedule and then you commit to do that for at least 30 days before you make any changes to the schedule. That's about how long it takes for you to figure out if you've set up what actually works. Now the final piece of this time management pie is my weekly planning sheet. And you can also download this from the Simply Aroma website. 
If you're using this in conjunction with your weekly schedule, these two tools can literally change the way that you work and increase your productivity level by leaps and bounds. This planning sheet gives you a place to create both a big picture as well as a detailed plan for your business. Let me go over it briefly. The top of the sheet allows you to place a photo, and mine changes weekly depending on, upon my focus for that week, that represents your theme for the week. Next to that, you're going to put the theme that you've chosen for either your year or the quarter, or you can use an inspirational quote to keep you on track, and also your core values. And those are the values that you must have in order to feel like life is worth living. That the things that motivate and make you feel fulfilled every single day are your core values. Then, as you move down the page, your plan gets more specific. You identify the top four to five projects that you're working on for the quarter, and then identify between three to five goals for that week. I also list daily activities, and those are things that I've committed to do each day or each week without fail. For me, those center around social media activities. Now the middle section is your actual plan for the week, and those are the activities that you're going to commit to to help you reach those weekly goals that you've set. Finally, at the bottom of the page, you're keeping track of people to call and your goals and activities for the following week. If you take the time to figure out your schedule, first using the time management worksheet, and then you decide how you'll spend your time each week using the calendar form that, in that exercise, and then you sit down for a few minutes on, say, Sunday night or Monday morning, and you make a plan using the weekly planning sheet, you're going to be amazed at how much more productive and less guilty you'll feel and how much more you'll get done. Let's look at your calls to action for this video. Complete the time management worksheet and create your weekly schedule. Beginning on Sunday night, fill out your weekly planning sheet for next week. I have to say that these tools really did completely change the way that I work and for the first time in a long time I feel comfortable and like I'm in control of my business and not the other way around. It's really a feeling of freedom. You're going to find the more successful you become in your Simply Aroma business, the more you're going to need these types of tools that we've covered this week in order to help you keep from getting overwhelmed, out of balance, and burned out. Getting these tools in place now is going to save you a lot of headache and possibly heartache down the road. So that's it for this week. Next week is our final training, and I'm going to be talking about goal setting and how to plan for the future of your Simply Aroma business. I'll look forward to seeing you then.